having me. It is such an honor to be here, such an honor to share the night with so many incredible people. We are living in a time defined by technology. We can wake up in the morning and live a busy, productive, interactive day entirely through our phones. It wakes us up, delivers the news, keeps our schedule, connects us to people all over the world, entertains us. We don't even have to get out of bed. And how's that working for us? We're so connected, we're alone. We're so distracted, we've lost ourselves. 24-7, 365, much of our reality is rendered through a screen. Hate crimes, child abuse, school shootings, sexual abuse, bigotry, corruption, cover-ups, it surrounds us. We do need to pay attention when bad things happen. We need to get at the truth through real investigations and honest journalism so we can understand what really happened and believe in a solution. And we need accountability. Justice matters. And so does today, and so does tomorrow. We can't change the world through justice alone. We need to change at a more individual level. If you want to feel hopeful, spend time with children. Children believe, they laugh, they love. Children are proof of an organic goodness. We all start as children. When my faith in others was shaken, I looked inward. It was difficult and scary. But once I pushed past the self-judgment and fear, I rediscovered a deeper goodness. Each of us has the power to look inward and reconnect with our true self and rediscover a deeper goodness. This is our source of compassion. This is the most powerful fuel for change. This is what makes me hopeful. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.